today we're just going to show leaving the dock from a bridge perspective and how I manipulate the controls to get us out of our berth. So we're just waiting for Janet, my crew, to get ready with the mooring lines. It is a bit windier than I would have liked but uh, it is a stern wind and that is blowing us out of the dock. So I have to manipulate the gears into reverse just to hold us back in the dock gradually and gently whilst we uh, loosen the mooring lines. Okay, now she's on board, we can set off. So it's a nudge into uh, forward just to get us moving, a couple of nudges, uh, and then uh, we'll go astern on the port side and start, uh, forward on the starboard side. Uh, that will swing us around to port and go around about 90 degrees uh, before then coming out of uh, astern on the port engine. Because of the wind I also had to just blip the uh, port engine on the throttle as well, which I would, would not normally do, but that was just to balance us with the wind. Um, then with both engines in forward we could set off. With both engines running ahead, and it's still at tick over, we have enough drive to use the uh, rudders and that allows me just to manoeuvre between the other uh, mode boats in the berthing. Once we get to a 90 degree turn uh, at the end of our finger uh, and then another 90 degree turn to go out into the river. As we do the final 90 degree turn we will go into a headwind and that will uh, slow me sufficient um, to make the 90 degree out through the gap uh, without having to bother with uh, putting one of the engines into reverse. Without the wind I would normally just bring the boat to a, almost to a stop and then uh, uh, put the starboard engine into reverse and the port engine is still ahead and then we'll swing us round to start.
And so there we are, out onto the river once again. So thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to see more motor cruising on Ava Grace.